You okay? I'm glad we came here. I like seeing the places you loved as a little boy. Just wish you could have met Professor Siegel. I think he'd be happy that he helped us hide. But we can't stay here anymore. Lourdes knows that we are not Joe and Linda from Chicago and we can't risk her turning us in. I've never felt safer than I feel here, with the two of us. All I have done is cause trouble for you. If I go back to Port Charles, I can turn myself in and you can finally get away from good, not just from the cops, but from your father and your family. You saying you want to leave me? together. What about Lourdes? Lourdes is fine. I talked her down. She's not going to tell anyone who we really you are. You think because she has a major crush on you that she's in your corner? Ooh, somebody's jealous. No, I am scared. Lourdes is fine. Hey, what's the harm of a little crush if it's going to help her keep our secret? The Zakhar has killed her father. A part of her has to want revenge. <sighs> is that what you would say if it were your father? Yes. I don't blame you for what your family has done. I know that you're different, but Lourdes doesn't. She may be quiet for now, but eventually she's gonna want more. She can't have more, I'm only yours. Trust me, I'm not blaming Lourdes. She sees the cutest guy in the world, and she knows his deepest, darkest secret, and she sees that as an emotional connection. Eventually she's gonna try and seal it with a kiss, and you're gonna turn her down, and she'll be upset, and who knows what she's gonna do, but it's gonna be bad. You've got it all figured out, don't you? Even if she doesn't go to the police, I could see her telling this whole story to her brother. So before we have some lovesick piano student and her gangbanger brother breathing down our necks, we need to figure out what we're gonna do. It's Lourdes. Hi, Hi, Johnny, uh, are you busy? You know how you can't stop going over and over the notes in your head? That's what keeps happening to me. I keep dreaming about our lessons. I really do. Well, you're very talented, Lourdes. Yeah, my dreams. You're not Joe. You're Johnny. You don't mind me calling you Johnny, do you? Don't you have some errands to run? You want me to leave now? Well, you might as well. I'm going to be caught up with this lesson. I'm a little early. I couldn't wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. I have plenty to do. I don't think Lulu likes the idea of leaving us alone. Well, you're the only one who knows who I really am, and since my father and his people had your dad killed, she thinks you might hate me for it. But you had nothing to do with my dad's murder, right? No. See, that's why I could never hate you, Johnny. But Lulu's right. If Sal found out, he would kill you. That's why you can never tell him. If Lulu just knew me a little, you know I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Thanks. Means a lot to me. Can we talk before we start the lesson? And what is there to talk about? Well, now that I know who you are, I want to get to know you. What is it like being the son of a famous gangster? <laughs> wouldn't you just rather play music? All right. To tell you the truth, I, I grew up like every other kid. Everybody did a good job keeping me away from the family business, you know? I'll tell you a secret. My lips are sealed. <laughs> I was kind of a spoiled rich kid. No, I don't yeah, believe it. It's true. <laughs> My father was out of town a lot, so there were a lot of lawyers and businessmen making choices in the family name. And I cared about two things, driving fast cars and, well, finding trouble. But just petty stuff, nothing like my old man. When I think about the hurt that was caused because of the choices that people made in our family name, our lives were destroyed, and you and your brother, how you hurt so badly, I, I feel horrible. That's why it's good you got away from them. Sometime in the near future, I'd like to pay you back somehow. 
No offense, but you're wanted for murder. You're a fugitive and everyone thinks Lulu's your hostage. What kind of future could you possibly have? Lulu and I can't hide out indefinitely. I need to find a way to prove that it was self-defense and then I can turn myself in. Doesn't your father have any judge on payroll? Yeah. No one's gonna let me walk away from a murder charge. If I can't prove that I did kill Logan in self-defense, then we're gonna have to stay on the run for a long time. Maybe leave the country. I could teach you Spanish. Then you could go to Mexico. There's a thought. <laughs> you know, I always thought about going to Mexico. They say it's warm over there and the ocean's just beautiful. And I think Mexico would be a great place to go. Even if you weren't wanted for murder. I was getting worried about it. I want to get supplies for the run. Water, toothpaste, you know, the necessities. Yeah, well, Lord, if going to keep her mouth shut, we're safe. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. You know, she offered to uh, give me Spanish lessons in case we need to make a run south of the border. You know the only reason she's agreeing to give you Spanish lessons is so she can spend more time with you. Oh, jealous, 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 jealous. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I don't like the idea of her hanging all over my guy, but more importantly, I know what it feels like to have a broken heart. When Lourdes realizes you're not the love of her life, she's going to be shattered. When someone like Lourdes is upset, she's going to lash out on you. She's going to turn on you. Okay, well, by then we will have figured out our next step. Maybe going to Mexico isn't such a bad well, idea. Well, either way, I'm going to get a Spanish dictionary in case. Okay, look, now is when you stop worrying. Okay, what will be, will be, no matter because we're here. We're safe right here, right now. And I love you. You know, if we weren't fugitives, this might be just about the best time of my life.